it's time to talk about my least favorite books of the year. I have a list of 10 books that did not work for me. So I've been pretty good about DNFing books that I am not loving. I stopped reading 25 books this year. I'm not sure if any of them would have made it on this list if I had continued them because a lot of times I feel like I stop reading books because I'm bored. But for some reason, these 10, I read the whole way through. For the most part, there was no reason that I needed to do that. I read eight of these books for videos and two of them for my book club. All I'm saying is I didn't pick either one of them. So I'll have everything linked in the description if you want more thoughts. I'm not going to go into detail on anything. I'm not going to sit here and just hate on these books, but I really didn't like them. These are not going to be in any order. It's just going to be the order that I wrote them down. So the first one is Rouge by Mona Awad. I have seen a lot of people love this. I have some friends that I have pretty similar reading tastes to and they loved it so this was just a me problem I guess. Rouge is this literary horror following a woman whose mother has died. Her mom was really into the beauty industry, she's really into it, and then there's this like weird place that her mom seems to have gone, this like salon thing, and she's kind of investigating but really just kind of experiencing the things her mom experienced. I don't know. I just didn't like the focus of this book. So for starters, I didn't like how much this book focused on Tom Cruise. It was just really odd and like it got to the point where it was really annoying. And then this book follows a character. We are in her head and at first I was pretty interested and then she starts to have this descent into madness and the way that it is written I understand that it's written in a way to show that, but it was so annoying for me to read. I did not like it. I didn't like the places that the plot ended up going. I think if you're looking for discussions on the beauty industry, there's better books. The ending of this kind of fell flat for me too. It just overall didn't work for me. And after this one, I'm not going to read from Mona Awad anymore because it didn't make my list, but I also read All's Well this year and I gave that one two stars. So I think I'm done even though I liked Bunny. Next up is The September House by Carissa Orlando. This one is a kind of quirky horror book. We are following a woman who lives in this house and every September the walls bleed, the ghosts come out, whatever. My issues were not with the fact that this was like a quirky kind of campy-ish horror. My issues were the fact that I hated all of the characters. I think you're supposed to kind of sympathize with the one um but I didn't I did I mean like with certain things yes but like her character was so frustrating to me and not specifically because of what she was experiencing like just her as a person was so infuriating like I was mad <laughs> while reading this book it's just like I don't want to read this many pages of characters just being insufferable and complaining about things and then this ghost is like oh do you want some tea and like I don't it was not a favorite for me but I do like the messages in this book I would still recommend this but the characters didn't work for me so if you try it and you aren't liking it immediately don't continue but if you are then you should next is the book of the unnamed midwife by Meg Ellison this is a very slow kind of dystopian drama and I have blocked most of the plot out of my memory but I remember being bored to tears. I was really really frustrated at a lot of the things that were happening at the beginning and then I slowly stopped being frustrated and then just like was so bored, didn't care about anything. It was so character driven and I didn't care about the characters. I wasn't rooting for her. I didn't care if she made it. And this one is just not my style of book. Next is Sourdough by Robin Sloan. This one is very not in my typical genres but I got it a while ago because I had read another book by this author and really enjoyed it. But this one is really just about baking bread and then it gets weird but not in a good weird and that's really all I have to say about this book. Next is A Black and Endless Sky by Matthew Lyons. This had such a cool premise it is supposed to be cosmic horror about this hole that there's like bones or something and like weird voices. I don't know, I read this a long time ago. But it turned out to be a book about a biker gang. <laughs> and I don't understand. The synopsis barely happened. This was just 
not a book for me. Next is Whale Fall by Daniel Krauss. This is horror and it's following a son who is grieving his dad. They're both like divers, like underwater, like ocean divers. This whole book is this man processing his relationship with his dad. But I'm sorry, if you are trapped in a whale and all you can think about is how mean your dad was to you. I, uh, this one was very frustrating for me. I didn't like the writing style. It was trying to be too much. Like it was so hard to get through. And then when it gets to the supposedly exciting stuff when he's in the whale, all he does is complain about his dad. And it's so, so frustrating. I truly did not like this one. This was not a good year for me for books written by men named Daniel because the next one is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. This was one of the first books that I read in 2023 and I think that the representation of disability in here was honestly a little offensive. I know a lot of people had to read this in schools but I did not like how it was done and I did not like how the treatment of women happened in here. I didn't like a lot. Actually, this was a one star book for me. I, yeah, I truly, this one, like, I don't want to talk about it too much because I know a lot of people do like it, but I just think that, like, maybe in the time it was written, it was, like, a really good way of humanizing people with disabilities, but I don't like the way that it was done. Personally, have a lot of issues with it and I would not recommend it, but I know a lot of people love this one. Next is Tripping Arcadia by Kit McQuiston. This one is one that I had a fun time reading it, but like I had so many issues with it while reading it. This I read a long time ago. It's something to do with this character who takes a job, something to do with drugs, but her dad died and she thinks that the guy killed her dad so she is trying to make him look bad in front of his friends and also is like poisoning him but she's doing it in this like really weird way that costs a ridiculous amount of money like all the money she's making when he throws parties full of drugs so i'm confused about a lot of the logic in this book but <laughs> i didn't hate my time reading it next is christmas presents by lisa unger this is a christmas thriller novella and it didn't need to be christmas related like it it was not a christmas book but like the killer had on a santa mask <laughs> and there was a podcast element in here that was so unnecessary like it was put in there to be a buzzword for podcasts and then there's this really frustrating relationship in here i don't know the more i think about this book the more I dislike it. There were so many things that made me angry in this book. Like, it's not the worst thing I've ever read, but <laughs> whenever I read it, I was not feeling nice. And if you watch the book club discussion, because this was one of the Pyramid book club ones, I just spend the whole time <laughs> complaining about the book. So I think I gave it two stars at the time, but like, the more I thought about it, the angrier I got. So I think I lowered my rating to a one star. I don't know. And then last, this isn't specifically my least favorite book of the year, but it did get a big reaction out of me. Let Him In by William Friend. This one was fine for most of it. It was like on the more boring side, but it was fine. And then the ending of this made me really mad. There's this like imaginary friend in his twin's room. His wife just passed away. This is another one that there's a relationship in here. It just like seriously made me so mad. Like you, uh, I don't want to go <laughs> into too many details and like accidentally spoil things because I blocked most of this out of my brain. But like I was so mad when reading this book. And like it was feeling like a three star until the end. And uh, like a lot of things that happened just like really frustrated me and I ended up really disliking this book. Which is a bummer because this cover is so fun, but not for me. So those are my 10 least favorite books. There's some one stars, some two stars. Honestly, if you want to think of them all as a one star for me, that's fine. Most of them did have a few elements that I liked, which is why I gave them two stars instead of one, but I truly didn't like any of these books. I do have a decent amount of other two star reads that I read throughout the year, but generally 
they all got two stars because they were boring, not because they had any strong feelings on them. All of the ones in this video I did have very strong feelings about. On that note, done with the negativity. I am not making a video about the books that I DNF'd in 2023, but I will have them all listed in the description if you're interested. I'd love to know in the comments what your worst book of 2023 was. Obviously worst is subjective. I'm not saying that these books are the worst books that existed. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content. I have a lot of really fun videos coming this month. If you're looking to find me in other places on the internet, everything is linked in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. If you made it to the end and want to leave me an emoji to say that you were here, you can leave me a tree emoji or let him in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!